My name is Bailey Ellickson, and this is my mom, Julie Kirktown. I'm 27 years old, and I live in Dublin, Ontario. The SSI treatment has essentially gotten rid of my colitis. I no longer have any symptoms. I'm symptom-free. Life now, after the treatment, I can actually say that it's pretty normal compared to what it was. Um, I sometimes even forget that I have colitis, which was before wasn't even... You could not forget that you had colitis. So yeah, it's pretty much every day. I don't have to think about where the closest washroom is and when I go out places. Um, it's it's awesome. Just have a normal social life and go out, and for, go out for dinner with, with my friends and not worry about it. And go to the movies with Tyler and be able to sit there for the whole movie. It, yeah, and go on vacation. And not worry about food. <laughs> I found out I had colitis. I actually, from probably grade eight or nine, I had symptoms. I was originally diagnosed with IBS. Um, my symptoms worsened and I went back to the doctor in 2010 and, and they discovered that I had colitis through a scope. Um, symptoms of colitis were constant stomach pain, um, urgent need to use the washroom, um, very loose stools, um, constant stools, tiredness, I was tired all the time. Daily life with colitis is it's constantly with you all the time. You're either not feeling well, thinking about where the washroom is, thinking about can I eat this, can I not eat this. It's not, it's not a pleasant experience. I was looking for a long-term solution. I'd actually tried different medications given to me by my GI specialist. Um, a couple of them found didn't work. The steroid ones actually worked the best. However, you cannot be on those long-term. Um, so yeah, I was definitely looking for something that would help keep it under control long term. Um, with long term side effects um, of the conventional medicines, um, I was concerned about um, you know possible cancer, um, sterility. Um, they, they tell you you shouldn't have children when you're taking these medications. Um, you know, just and even just the physical, the the swelling and the the puffiness and that sort of thing. It's you know minor compared to everything else, but it's something to be concerned about and to consider. Um, so yeah, we really weren't very interested in the, um, the steroid type treatment that was being suggested. So what we did, you talked to someone else who'd been in the trial that, previously. And I talked to a mom of someone who had just returned from the trial. So that, that was really helpful because that sort of alleviated and very reassuring. Yeah, it alleviated some of the fears we had um, about going. And then they said, you've got nothing to lose, go for it. And then you did. You are like, let's do it. I was taking medication anyways, so I thought, hey, why don't I go try something else? Because these aren't helping me entirely, so why not try something else? Yeah. Basically, I'm just so happy that... Um, the SSI was posted on Facebook. We're so, so grateful that um, Bailey was able to participate in the trial um, and that she was brave enough to participate in the trial too because I know some people are afraid to do that. But um, she said one day, she's like, I'm just tired of feeling sick all the time. I'm going to do it. And yay, you did. Yay. <laughs> uh, I would consider myself in 100% remission. I haven't had, I stopped taking the SSI vaccine in December and have not had any symptoms since then. I'm currently not on any medications whatsoever. We are so thankful to, um, to Dr. Gunn, to QBiologics, that we had this opportunity presented to us, um, that had, it came up. Um, it, it's amazing and yeah, we cannot thank everyone enough for allowing us to do this. And hopefully that more people can benefit from it. Like, you know, just the, the thought of everybody that has Crohn's or colitis um, being helped from this is just incredible. It's like, it just makes me Very really exciting. happy. Yeah. <laughs>